Hello everybody. This last week we did I did a demo using this product, uh, Windsor Newton Liquin. And that created a conversation on our Facebook page. I thought it'd be really great just for me to step on here, talk about different mediums, pros and cons of each, and then uh, that way we don't have this long-winded conversation on Facebook and, and I don't get the points across that I want to make. So we're going to talk about four different mediums and I'm going to give you a little bit of knowledge I have about each one but it's going to be up to you to try them uh, if you want and see how they work for you because every everybody's situation is different so we're going to talk about turpentine we're going to talk about liquid we're going to talk about gambling solvent free gel and we're going to talk about refined linseed oil notice i said refined linseed oil because there's like three different kinds out there so this is refined <laughs> linseed oil Okay, turpentine. Turpentine is a great medium. I use it 100% of the time. Okay, it does two things. It thins the paint because when paint comes out of the tube, it's too thick and you need to thin it down to get it onto your canvas. Number two, it dries the painting quickly or quick or a painting that would take seven to eight days to dry will dry in half that time, three to four days. That's the advantage. I like, especially working on large canvases, I like the painting to come in I like it to be dry. Put some liquid on it and off we go. But turpentine is great. Word of caution, every single one of these mediums puts off an odor. Every one of them does. Every one of them is toxic. Okay? I'm just letting you know up front. I don't want to stress it too bad because um, none of them are harmful. Just know that they all put off odor even though you can't smell it. So I have an industrial size air filtering system over in the corner of my studio. It runs all day while I'm in the studio painting. At night, I close the door. It runs all night long. So when I come in the next day, I'm confident that the air in my studio has been purified and is clean. All right, so that's a little, little side tip. All right, so when you paint with just turpentine, yes, you get the quick drying time. Yes, it's great with oils. It works fantastic with oils. The problem is it dries dull. It dries matte. So if you finish a painting in your studio and you're really happy about it and you throw it into a frame and you throw it to your gallery, you know this. Six months down the road, that painting is going to be dull and all the colors in it are going to be gone. So that's the reason why you let your paintings dry and then completely dry and then you come back in with a gloss varnish at the end to bring back those colors, those darks, contrast, all that kind of stuff. So that's turpentine. Dries quickly. Um, thins the paint, but it dries dull. All right, that's that. Liquid. It's a terrific medium. When I paint plain air, if I'm going to take a trip for four or five days, I'm going to create 20 to 30 paintings during that time. I use liquid because I can do a painting on one day, come back the very next day, and they're dry. So liquid speeds up the drying time. It also adds gloss to your paint. So when you paint with just um, liquid as your medium, at the end of the day, it's gonna be dry and you're gonna have that gloss finished. Win-win. <laughs> so that's the advantage of liquid. Um, the disadvantage is some people don't like the way it smells. Hey, I love the way it smells. So up to you. Next, linseed oil. And this is refined linseed oil. There's about four different kinds out there. This is refined <laughs> linseed oil. All right, there's a difference. Uh, it's a terrific medium. I've used it for years and years and years. Um, it also thins the paint, which is what a medium should do. Let's you get it on the canvas nice and smooth. It also will dry glossy, which is another advantage of it. The disadvantage of it, this, this linseed oil or any linseed oil, will yellow your paint quicker than anything, especially if you're using titanium white, like the highlights or snow or whatever. You're gonna come back in a year and it's gonna be, it's gonna have a yellow tinge to it. That's my biggest complaint about linseed oil is that the yellowing that it creates. Um, oh, and it also, it extends the drying time. It will take your painter, painting longer to dry. I don't like that. That's just not in my wheelhouse, but it might be in yours. If you're working on a painting that's just going to take you for uh, three or four days to do, 
this is a terrific medium because you you paint you leave it you come back it's still wet you paint it you leave it you come back still wet that's the way you like to work this is the medium for you then you got gamblin uh, solvent free gel which you know, is a fairly new product but it is a gel it's a true gel so if you're working on a large canvas a 30 by 40 good luck getting that on there okay but using it as a just a medium to thin your paint you know to do the painting with it's terrific you also get a gloss finish at the end it also decreases i think i got that right i have that backwards it increases the time it takes your painting to dry so those are all things you have to think about while you're painting drying time do i want a gloss finish or a matte finish what if i get a matte finish how do i correct that correct that later so th those are gel mediums in a nutshell. Let's go do a demo. All right, let's put some different mediums down here and some paint and just see how things work. So this is Gamblin Solvent Free Gel. All right, let's put some different mediums down here and some paint and just see how things work. So this is Gamblin Solvent Free Gel. Put that there. Come on, Rusty, you can do it. Watch this, this is not gonna work. There you go, there's the difference right there. We'll come back, we'll grab it from the bottom. It'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> so my demo may not go as, as planned. All right, so this is that. That was linseed oil. You can see what it does. It just like runs everywhere. And then here is all right. So we got linseed oil, uh, phew, gambling gel, linseed oil there, liquid there. So let's just mix some paint. Put some paint above each one. And we'll just see what happens to it when we mix it. So start here with, and you can see quickly you can, how quickly it, the Gamblin gel, how it reacts. I like it. So you, you can get nice full coverage here. It's thinner. Understand that uh, that gel works, I think, really, really well. So let's see if we what happens when we mix it with. <laughs> or linseed oil which we're going to grab from down there there you go we got just enough i mean it's really the, the thing i don't like about it right now i can just tell about how i feel about this um that's a really oily slick feeling compared to this this i i feel like i have more control than i do this so this is gambling gel linseed oil uh, this just seems to really thin it down really fast. And so I think what ends up happening at the end of the day is that you just have to use a lot more paint to get coverage. All right, then down over here, we have Gamma. And as you can see, it, thin it thins the paint pretty well. But just, I mean, this is liquid. So the liquid and the gambling, as far as feeling goes, they feel pretty much the same. And the more you paint in oils, the more you get to understand that how you feel about how the paint comes off the brush, how it goes onto the canvas becomes very, very important. Those look, those, those look and feel almost identical. Look how much thinner though this gel is. You can see the canvas coming through versus the, versus the liquid. So of these three, <laughs> linseed oil for me is out. I would use either one of these. I think on a small painting, this is what I would use. On a large painting, this is what I would use. Or, quite honestly, of the three, this is my choice. Liquin is my choice. That's just me. Try them out. See how you like them. All right. See ya.